Hi, Dr. Athinder. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you, sir. Okay, so Dr. Athinder, I will uh, have a series of videos with you. And you are already PDF postdoctorate fellow. You are already pursuing a postdoctorate fellowship. And I want a series of videos with you informing those students who are doing their doctorate uh, about postdoctorate fellowship opportunities and many things related to PDFs. So my today's interaction with you is related to the basic question, uh, why postdoctorate fellowship is even required? Because you are doing B.Tech, M.Tech, Ph.D., so many years of education, and then you land up in postdoctorate fellowship. So first, I would like to know from you, Dr. Atinder, is postdoctorate fellowship uh, a sort of uh, studies or education or degree, or is it a job? What is this, actually? Uh, I will say it is a job. You will get a good, handsome salary for it also. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will work as, a, uh, as an independent researcher in this position. Okay. This so we is can, a, we can put it in the category of the job only, right? Yes, yes, right. So, Dr. Dinder, what we know is like if you're doing job in academics, uh, what we know is assistant professor, lecturer, associate professor, professor, and all. What is postdoctorate fellow? Where he stands? Okay, it, uh, the first thing is that in other other situations, you will be having a permanent position. Mm -hmm. They will be uh, hiring hiring for you for a long period of time. But this is a very short temporary position mm -hmm. uh, compared to others. And second is that uh, it is only to enhance your knowledge in uh, a particular domain. Okay. Like you are already working in a domain for five to ten, uh, five to ten years doing MTech and PhD, mm -hmm. and then you will have a world class uh, research facility in some lab, and you will write a very good high pa papers uh, working in that lab, and that how you will improve your profile also. Okay, wonderful. So I got some advantage, uh, some, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, things related to postdoctoral fellowship. What are the advantages associated? Like uh, you will do very good research in your own area, very good impact factor research papers you can publish. Uh, what is the relevance of postdoctoral fellow? Is it even required postdoctoral fellowship? Or without that, I can, you know, uh, go and join teaching or something. So what is the, why it is required? That is a question. Uh, okay, um, I, I will say it is a field specific. Um, many fields don't require this uh, this uh, this opportunity, but it is helpful. Like uh, I will just uh, state one example that uh, if you are applying for a professorship in IIT Roper, okay, and your your profile doesn't have any postdoc opportunity, like you have not attended any postdoc position, what they will do? They will not shortlist you. Okay. They have not any written rule about it. Mm -hmm. But I've seen that most of the uh, application get rejected because of. And they have not opted any. Uh, they have not opted any postdoc position. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So that means one of the relevance of postdoctorate fellowship is like if you want to become faculty in premium institutes such, uh, such as IITs, then postdoctorate fellowship uh, is very very useful and helpful because shortlisting clearly this becomes one of the criteria, right, uh, Doctor Atinder? Yes, sir. Yes. So, so and uh, do you have anything in your mind like typical duration of postdoctorate fellowship uh, after which I can say okay now I'm ready for a job in some institute? Uh, it can vary from six months to three years. Okay. 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 That uh, you can start applying uh, for from uh, your after end of your six months, mm -hmm. and then keep on applying. There, you can extend it to three years also. No, no problem with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means the time duration depends on the project or something. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And you are working uh, in some particular lab, Dr. Atinder, or you are uh, working with some faculty or some uh, professor? So it's both way. Uh, you have to, uh, a PI of the project. Like if you have written your project on your own, then you are you are PI of the project. But if the project is written by the professor, then he will hire you and he will be, he will be the PI. So mm. it works both way also. Mm. So both the things are important. Yes, yes. Okay. I, but I think that the if you have written your own project, that uh, that has more more weightage okay. rather than you are working on some project which is written by someone else. Mm. So typically, postdoctorate fellowship is done in academic institutes, or it can be done in some research labs or industries also. Yeah, it it, it is typically done in, uh, in basically lab and in academic setting only. But most of the uh, National laboratories also provide this, uh, not in India, but outside India, they provide this opportunity and industry also provide this opportunity, but it is very rare to find. Okay. 
Okay, so Dr. Dinder, I think we have got a lot of information in this video and that was the first video in the series of videos which will come out with uh, and related to post doctorate fellowship. I tell you honestly, like uh, very less students uh, are aware about the opportunities of post doctorate fellowship. Though they are doing PhD, they are in first year, second year, third year, final year of the PhD, but they do not uh, have much idea about post doctorate fellowship. So on our this uh, platform, Europedia, we are trying to, uh, you know, aggressively now seek the information from people like you who are doing postdoctoral fellowship and present it to the students so that they make uh, you know their entire this planning in advance if they want to go for postdoctoral fellowship and well aware uh, they should be for uh, these uh, these kind of opportunities so i'll be requiring uh, your uh, help in this entire uh, particular uh, uh, planning which we are doing dr athinder so that we provide them relevant information so again, let me thank you for your time which you gave. Thank you, sir.